Hey everyone, this is Shotzi for the Rough Cuts on Sunday. I hope you all had an awesome week. And if you're living in this part of the country, I hope you're enjoying the really nice weather outside. Today I'm going to be talking about an awesome movie directed by one of my favorite directors, Alfred Hitchcock. This is To Catch a Thief. It was from 1955 and it's based by or based on the 1952 novel To Catch a Thief by David Doyle. And it stars Cary Grant, Grace Kelly, also has Jesse Royce Landis, and John Williams. This movie is about a man, played by Cary Grant, na named John Roby. I'm sorry, I'm like so tongue-tied today. And he plays a character named John Roby, who is a reformed member of the Resistance, as well as Cat Burglar, and he's known as the Cat. And his old members of the Resistance friends who are no longer friends of his because they believe that, you know, like he might be a snitch or whatever. And it's still kind of sketchy as to why they hate him exactly. I'm still not really positive as to why they dislike him. A lot of them spent prison time. He spent prison time too, but now he's living like in the lap of luxury and the rest of them are still pretty poor working in this one guy's restaurant. So there's this bitterness there. Anyway, so he's well-to-do, reformed cat burglar, and suddenly on the French Riviera, a lot of people are having their really, really nice jewels stolen. And so a lot of people believe that it is him because it's very much his style. And his old resistance buddies think it's also him. And because of all these burglars... Go burglaries going on police are snooping around them and so they're angry at him they want him gone so that's the main story he's trying to figure out who this cat burglar is the old resistance pals you're not quite sure what's going on with them and then you have the beautiful american woman and her mother having a vacation on the french riviera played by grace kelly and jesse royce landis and so, of course, you know a love interest is, you know, going to happen there. Grace Kelly looks gorgeous in this, by the way, as she always does, but especially in this movie with costumes by Edith Head. And so she does her research on John Roby, and so she has a little plan of her own. So this is a really, really fun movie to watch. Great romantic thriller. There's this one scene that I absolutely love that takes place on this floating platform out in the water. And it's one of just the best, cattiest moments that you can ever imagine like on, like on the screen. It's just great. It's awesome how it's done. And you, know, you have a lot of the frequent Hitchcock players in this. You have, of course, Cary Grant. And you have him kind of paired up with Jesse Royce Landis. In this movie, she plays Grace Kelly's mother, and I won't get into her relationship with Cary Grant in this, but anyway, because that might give something away, even though it's really obvious, but also North by Northwest, she plays Cary Grant's mother in that movie. You also have John Williams in this, and he's playing an insurance agent in this movie, and Dial M for Murder, which also starred Grace Kelly, he was a detective in that movie. So you have a lot of frequent players. You also have the ascots. You know, those little ties that kind of, not frou-frou men, but like men on a yacht type of thing or on the golf course wearing like an ascot. Cary Grant's character wears that in this movie. And I noticed that theme in several of Hitchcock's movies because... Rod Taylor and the birds, he wears an ascot in that. Um, I think Farley Granger in Strangers on a Train, he's also wearing an ascot in that movie at one point in time. So the ascot is like a big theme. Because otherwise you kind of think of ascots in like sort of seventies cartoons, like like Fred in Scooby Doo. Another thing this movie provides us with is a good chase scene. So you get to see a lot of the Riviera. It's really nice to see. It, it's, it's a fun chase scene. It's not like French Connection or Bullet or anything like that. 
but it's fun. I definitely recommend this movie as well as other Hitchcock movies. This one, however, I think is a bit one of his more romantic movies, if not his most romantic movie that he's done. Really, really great. A lot of fun. And I hope you check it out. Also, next week on Saturday evening, The Essentials on Turner Classic Movies, they're featuring Strangers on a Train with Farley Granger. So definitely give that a look-see. It's worth your time. And I hope you have a great week. I will see you next Sunday. Bye.